Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So this video is so special to me because I believe that gossip is one of the most damaging things, one of the worst sins, and I find myself in situations all the time where people around me are talking negatively about other people, gossiping, even bonding in talking bad about other people. And it's the most heartbreaking thing to encounter because we should only be saying things that are uplifting other people and encouraging and spreading love. And so it's the total opposite of Christianity, the opposite of any religious belief system to gossip about other people. So I wrote this video script, five ways to shut down gossip. What you can do in the situation when like me, you are very uncomfortable, you don't like what's happening, you don't know what to do because you're caught in the situation. Do you speak up? Do you go along with it? Do you walk away? How do you actually deal with the situation? I have thought through in depth how to shut it down and how to even create a healthy social culture with the people you spend time with. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button next to the subscribe button, which will give you notifications every time I upload a new video and every time that I live stream. Also, make sure to be following me on my social media. My Instagram and my Twitter are just my first and my last name, Lizzie Rize. I also created a Patreon. So if you guys want to support me monetarily, it is just patreon.com slash Lizzie's Answers. You can support me for as little as $2 a month. And I promise you guys that everything helps with keeping my channel full time because a lot of my videos get demonetized and it's so difficult to make a living off of YouTube without doing things like Patreon donations and super chats. So let's get into the video. Number one, start saying positive things about the person. I do this all the time. And I think my favorite thing about it is that someone's being negative and then you just start being positive and infusing sunshine into the conversation. And it's kind of like happiness rubs off on everyone else. So everyone's kind of being mad and negative and pessimistic. And then you're like, but da -da -da -da! and you kind of change the vibe of the situation completely. So here's a practical example of how to use this strategy. Keith was late to the meeting again. I just can't handle him. He never puts in his work at this job. I don't know, I'm not in normal employee situations since I do YouTube for work, but I assume at work, people gossip about their coworkers. So here's what to say. Yeah, it makes me so sad when he doesn't show up to meetings because I love what he contributes to our conversations. So you totally validate that this thing happened, but then turn it around into a positive thing. And once everyone realizes that you actually like this person and support them, they kind of back off and stop saying negative things because they're like, oh my gosh, Lizzie actually likes Keith. Is it Keith? Kenneth? What is this guy's name? Keith. Then it clicks, oh, Lizzie actually likes Keith and supports him. We probably shouldn't say negative things right now. <laughs> Number two is to explain where the behavior might be coming from. So it's really important to validate people's emotions. So when someone says something, that is their true emotion, thought, perspective, and it is valid and they're having this emotional response. And so you can't just be like, you're wrong, you're awful, stop gossiping. That's not how you do it. So it's really important to listen to what they're saying, to nod, to say, yeah, I understand, I get that. But then say something to try and explain why the person did that. Keith has been so annoying lately, he just became a Christian and he's really been trying to push his religion on me. I'm atheist, I don't want to know about Christianity. It's so annoying when he's like this. So then the way I would respond, I would say, yeah, I get why you think that. Keith is really intense, but I think that because he just converted, he's so passionate about the faith and it's been this amazing reality and just transforming his life. So I think he wants everyone to appreciate that too. Then the person gossiping will be like, oh my gosh, I understand. She understands where I'm coming from, but now I understand where Keith could be coming from. Number three is something I just discovered when I was in a gossip situation because it was so easy and I realized I'm gonna start doing this all the time now. 
Number three is admit how you are the same or have had similar behavior in the past. So recently some of my friends were making fun of how someone didn't have a TV and it was someone older so it was like older people talking. It wasn't like millennials who just watch Netflix. So I was like, oh, my family didn't have a TV all of growing up and I still don't have a TV. And then everyone started laughing and they stopped talking negatively about the person without the TV because they're like, oh, our friend who we get along with also doesn't have a TV. This is awkward. Let's stop being negative. Just like how with number one, when you start saying positive things, they're like, oh, Lizzie actually likes Keith. I shouldn't be saying this around her. And I didn't say it in a mean, combative way. So I wasn't like, guys, stop gossiping. I don't have a TV either. Are you making fun of me? No, I was just like kind of a teasing, laughing, kind of funny way. I was like, oh, you guys, I didn't have a TV growing up at all. Isn't that so crazy? There's other people without TVs too. And then it kind of distracts. And again, like number one, it just changes the mood from this negativity, pessimism, gossiping into this funny, bright, beautiful essence. Number four is getting in the habit of saying positive things about another person all the time. So one of my best friends, Nicole, hates gossip so much and she's actually inspired a lot of the things that I've shared in this video. I've learned them from her. So we always go on positive gossip sessions with each other and the reason is because I feel like Females especially, comment below if you think men are the exact same. But my experience, I have mostly female friends, I have throughout my life, and we really bond over talking bad about other people. It's just a way to bond with your friends. And so instead, my best friend Nicole and I, we talk about other people so much with each other, but we say positive things. Oh my gosh, did you see the idea Keith brought up in the meeting? He's been coding this new thing for our team and it's so cool. I was talking to him about it and he actually, when he was in college, he did an internship with this company that did a similar thing. Keith is so funny too. He was talking before the, he was talking after the meeting, he was telling us this story about an Amazon package showing up with his new roommate. Yeah, did you hear it? Oh my gosh, it was so fun. Just start noticing positive things in other people all the time. Just start focusing on the positive. And then when you're around other people, you'll naturally talk about the positive things. Number five is to pray for your enemies. Anytime someone is irritating you, making you really uncomfortable, you don't like what they're doing, they're getting under your skin, you think they're annoying, you start judging them, the moment that starts happening, instead start praying for them. Pray for any part of their life that you can think of. And through praying, it gets rid of all those negative emotions. And so you won't even be able to go forward with this thought process of everything you don't like about Keith. And then you won't later start gossiping about Keith because it will no longer bother you that he comes late to the meetings because you'll be praying for him. And when you're praying for Keith, You'll be like, be with him with any external thing in his life that causes him to be late to the meetings all the time. Maybe he's in depression, maybe he just had a baby, maybe he's having marital problems, maybe his car hasn't been working very well. Like, There's so many reasons that people are the way they are. And so just start praying for every part of their life and then you won't be in a negative headspace and it won't even give you the opportunity to sin. And so I think praying is so important. Praying for anyone who slightly bothers you during the day is so important and it is spiritual warfare to avoid sin. I also highly encourage you to go to regular confession regarding gossip. Anytime I am part of slight gossiping, I go to confession and I confess it. And it keeps me accountable and just makes me realize how evil and sinful and damaging and destructive gossip is. It damages relationships, it damages someone's reputation. A lot of times in a legal context, in a public context, when we're dealing with public figures, it is slander and libel. I personally have people who slander me online who are tweeting out, this sounds silly, but literally on Twitter, people will tweet out lies about statements I've made or lies about what I believe in them that spreads and people believe this libel about my character. And so stuff like this happens on a personal level as well. And so I hope that this video inspires you 
to be a light in every single social group in your life, to be a light amongst your friends, to change and shift the conversations from negativity, from gossip into positive gossip sessions where you're just talking about everything you love about another person, just seeing the good in other people and being Christ-like in how you communicate with everyone around you. I want to end by reading a Bible verse that is related to this. Philippians 2, 14 through 16. Do everything without complaining or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure. Children of God without fault, in a crooked and depraved generation, in which you shine like stars in the universe, as you hold firmly to the word of life. Then I will be able to boast on the day of Christ that I did not run or labor in vain. So do everything without complaining and you will be like shining stars in the universe. And so I think this totally relates to the concept of gossip. Don't even start to internally complain, but start to pray for the person. When gossip does start, say positive things about the person. Help explain to other people why they may have done that action. Say how you yourself have exhibited the same behavior. Get in the habit of noticing positive things in other people. Positive gossip talks so much about what you love about other people. And then number five is to pray as much as possible about every single interaction you're having in your life so that you can become purified in your thoughts and your actions. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!